Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Ryder Bronx and the Maryland Terrapins. Number 15 is, does a great job using his senior maturity to inspire his team. Yeah, Brad, a senior leader is the guy who the team can count on for support. This kid is no exception. The Terrapins will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Terrapins should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Second of all, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the board. And finally, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Both teams looking to get things going here. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. For the bucket. 10 seconds to get a shot off. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. And he'll kick it back outside. The center with the ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. the offense number 35 gets the ball for that reason right there that's why I love college basketball this place is rocking and rolling baby he shoots from the top of the key they're lighting it up from the field right now Dick they're in a dangerous rhythm my friend dangerous dangerous for the defense if they keep it up fed the low block the center gets the pass that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. He does the sweet fake shot. Fakes it. He attempts a jump hook. They still don't score. The point guard takes the pass. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, what a strip, Red. Fast break possibility coming. He puts it in with contact and all. It's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Look at this effort! They work the perimeter. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the top of the circle, way off target. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Check him out, Brad. to pack it inside using his size with a power move oh what a power goal jump stop takes the ball with a goal scroll they say forget about it and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over for two perfectly executed
Shows patience waiting for the reset. The power forward takes the feed. Kelly is eager and excited to compete. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Goes. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Counts getting high. From the top of the key. Buried it. Let's take a look right here. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dump it inside. With the fake. Inside. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. With anticipation defensively. What a great strip. Picks off the lazy pass. Working it around the perimeter. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nesla. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Shot there and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Puts it on the floor and up and under. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. He's got a nice shot fake. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. And they get the turnover. Oh, what a high rise of great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. Work it around the arc. Fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Working around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. He'll kick it back outside. He lets it go. Ryder are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. And he scores despite the hack. Almost lost a basketball. From right at the circle, he buries it. Turns it over. High post flasher is open. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. perimeter unloads a three 
There was no doubt about that one. On the dribble, gives it up. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me, this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. All right, thanks, Aaron. On the outside. In the paint. There's the trap. Robs him of the ball. And we got a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's a double team waiting there. Top of the circle. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. When I think of home court advantage, this is what I see and this is what I hear. The crowd's fired up and I'm sure the team is too. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. High post player flashing. Gave it up. Trying to draw some contact. Knocks it down. Up and inside. Control of the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. The frustration right there. Here's a flash from the high post. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. To the charity strike. First one is good. Either. That's an 8-0 run. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. He looks for the bomb. Maryland are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he fires it up. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. <laughs> Gave it up, takes the pass in the paint, leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Time to pick up 
the defense here now. And one too many dribbles and a steal. team on the dribble gives it up gave it up the ball goes out of bounds and that's one too many turnovers yeah those turnovers are really a nightmare especially when they lead to layups Goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. They work it around the perimeter from three point land. He hits it. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Drains the shot. Let's get another look, Brad. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. Look at this last play right here. <laughs> Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ten seconds on the clock. up, Dick. How does a team just flat run out of time like that? Hey, Brad, when a defense is playing like these are, the offensive players become unsure of what shot to take. So obviously, this wastes time. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Looks at the three. He gets the bucket. Team now, Matt Angle. Stolen away. They get it out into transition. They work the perimeter. He pump fakes. On the outside. For two. And off the mark. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Bucket perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses from beyond the three point line. Now they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He fires from long range, drains it. We got to roll that one back. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player to attack the basket. 
tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. He tries the three. He shows the sweet touch. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. From the top of the circle, he drains the shot. In the paint. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He shoots from the top of the key. Not this time. Puts it up, looking for contact. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Moving it around the perimeter. Steals a pass. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipated really well Dick not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him I tell you just doesn't beat him to the basket not quick enough and a great reaction by the defensive post player great defensive play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action the perimeter jumped in front to take it away there was no doubt about that one Open inside. takes away the pass on the dribble gives it up you count it and the foul that's how he likes it baby my goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. The Bronx are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He gets it to go. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Opportunity for two for one. The Terrapins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Gave it up. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Picks off the pass. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. At halftime, the Terrapins lead by six. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Maryland 
is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Dick start of the second half, and we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I think you're going to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I still think his teammates have to screen for him. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Post flashes for the ball handler. Good fake. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. There he is, strips the ball loose. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He puts up the tray. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Top of the blocks the shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Can't get the shot to go. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. The ball goes out of play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He strips him clean. Looking for the foul. Doesn't go. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He comes away with it. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Five-second call approaching. Nick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He shoots from long range. Drains it. The Terrapins are up by 15. the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Goes. 
You're going to be seeing this one all week. Looking for a good shot. On the inside. For two. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Working around the arc for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes it off him. Got a man in high post. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Tries for two. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's eight on answer. From three-point range. Got it. We need an instant replay for this one. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Steals the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Taken away. Pushes it up. For two. Maryland are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Intercepted. High post flashes. On the outside. Defense giving some room. He goes for three. Goes in. That's a 7-0 run.
steals a pass. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Gave it up. He fouled him. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Thanks, Aaron. He shoots from the top of the key. That's a 9 nothing run. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the six man for no reason. Strips the ball. And again, they look to run. For the bucket, there was no doubt about that one. We'll get a better look on the replay. Stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. How about an instant replay? Coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. I've seen you out there with pom poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Had a momentary look from three point land. Now they work it around the perimeter, looking for a good shot. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He hits the second. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. It's the third. Tradition is big around these parts. A lot of passion in history. Years and years of success have built this program up to where it is today. Hey, when the school has great history, Brad, it almost brings instant credibility to the table. Players want to play there. Coaches want to coach there. A bit of a snowball effect. From downtown. Look at that space. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He takes the shot. Nice shot. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dumps it in. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. I need to see that again, Brad. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Steal. Oh, 
good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Ryder have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Buried it. In the paint. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He pulls the trigger way off target. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The fake takes away the pass. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. And the fans here are loving the action. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They work the perimeter. Jumps in. Maryland are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. But inside. Robs him of the ball. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle bit. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And a momentary look from three-point land. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Number three makes his first substitution. I'll tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. He unloads a three. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. about ready to start things up again. Fans will be celebrating. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Good defensive stance there against and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot and gets it to fall. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Way off target. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Nice fake. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Knocks it down. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He makes the shot. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Draws the whistle off the pro. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. OK, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. To the line, shooting one. He can't buy one. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. He unloads. He gets that one to fall. Long distance, drains the shot. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. off ten on the
the shot clock. From the baseline, scorches the net. One on the shot clock. He shoots from right of the circle. Oh, yes! Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Maryland wins a game that was never really close. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.